Alright, so I mentioned a while back in uh, one of my previous videos, uh, I think that was the soldering on the ring terminals. I was going to go over what the big three upgrade is um, for your car audio system. Um, basically, it's just an electrical upgrade that uh, beefs up your power from your alternator and your grounds to the chassis because uh, you got to have good grounds to your chassis because that's where you're going to ground your amplifiers in the back. Um, so basically what it consists of, uh, we'll start from the front, uh, a link from your alternator, starting right here. Um, make sure you have inline fuse on that, um, and then it continues up to your battery. Um, that's going to be a zero gauge lead. You could do a four gauge, but I always recommended uh, doing a zero gauge for uh, bigger systems. So uh, that basically takes your stock wire, puts up to a zero gauge from your alternator to your positive on your battery. That's the first uh, segment. And then obviously you'll have a uh, positive coming from the battery to the back of the car. Um, in my case, zero gauge also. Um, and then these are just miscellaneous accessories, like my starter and some other things. Um, so yeah, so if you're doing the big three upgrade, it's a... It's a positive from your alternator to your battery positive. Um, that should be zero gauge. Um, the other two upgrades are your grounds. In my case, I went a little um, overboard and put three extra grounds. You can do that, uh, but two will be um, plenty. Um, but the two that you need to look out for are a ground to your engine block. Mine's way back in here. I don't think you can see that. Um, so negative to the engine and then also you need a negative to your chassis mine's over here right here when you do that you gotta sand away the spot so you see clean metal because um, that's gonna make a good connection you can't have paint in between the uh, terminal and the and the chassis so that's gonna be your two runs to the engine to the chassis I also did another run this is completely optional um, to the alternator bracket, so it's really close to the alternator. Figure that's for the best conductivity possible for that. Um, some alternators actually, uh, that is uh, how it's supposed to be stock, is they'll have a negative from the alternator, but it's kind of rare. Um, normally, it just goes to your engine. Um, but I decided to do all three just because um, if you only did one to the engine. Sometimes uh, you lose conductivity going through bolts and brackets and things and gaskets um, to the alternator. So I did uh, I did three. But um, so this would be I guess a big four. Um, but the big three, I'll go over it one more time. Run from your alternator to your battery upgraded. You need to upgrade that. That's a biggie right there. But even more important are the grounds. You need to ground to the chassis and a ground to the engine. And then optional is the ground to your alternator. And then this other run is um, to the back for the amplifiers. So there's a, there's the big three rundown. Uh, if that was a little hard to understand or if your car looks completely different, because this is a Jeep, um, just ask me. Um, but that's basically the what the big three is. It's just those upgrades. Um, yeah, so any questions, uh, please leave a comment, subscribe. Um, these terminals are cool. They're called uh, military battery terminals. Really awesome. I'd recommend those. They're way cooler than like the uh, like the trick looking little set screw type with little covers and the flashy colors. and Yeah, those are stupid. Like Soshi or whatever the heck those brands are. Um, these are real heavy duty. You won't ever have a problem. Great conductivity. Awesome. Uh, so I recommend these for your battery terminals if you have these uh, kind of batteries that with the up posts. Um, they worked out for me pretty well. And then you can put a lot of accessories on here. As you can see, I got plenty of room to add wire for upgrades and such. So yeah, so like, subscribe, comment. Any questions, please leave a comment. PM me. All that. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see some more from this Jeep pretty soon.